Hi everyone. Today I'll be presenting on my final year project on high accuracy and high efficiency fringe projection profilometry. The motivation of this project is that 3D data acquisition is to capture detailed and accurate information about the physical world. It is crucial in creating precision point cloud data. This, in turn, has numerous applications. Autonomous driving heavily relies on 3D data to perceive the physical world in real time and make informed decisions accordingly. Acquiring of highly accurate and detailed 3D data of the environment, autonomous vehicles can use to navigate and identify potential obstacles or hazards. Remote surgery can be accomplished with precision point cloud data of the surgical site. The use of precision point cloud data in remote surgery allows for greater surgical accuracy, reduced risk of complications, and improved patient outcomes. The aim of this project is to improve the calibration stage by integrating a subpixel edge detection method and the phase measurement stage by proposing an improved phase unwrapping method in the fringe projection profilometry FPP system. The goal is to design a higher accuracy and efficiency FPP system. This project will help to advance further studies in achieving a better real-time 3D data acquisition system. There are many ways in obtaining the 3D data systems such as coordinate measuring machines, time-of-flight cameras, stereo vision, and FPP system are commonly used. And my project will be on FPP system due to its non-contact, low-cost, high-speed, high-accuracy, and high-precision. A simple FPP system can be achieved by replacing one of the cameras in the stereo vision with a projector that illuminates the object with predefined patterns. These patterns could be sinusoidal fringe images, random speckles, or other custom-made structures, and the resulting modulated light patterns are captured by the camera. To obtain the 3D data, image processing is performed on the captured images. This is how the FPP system works in real life. It consists of four main stages. First, calibration stage. The camera and projector are modeled by pinhole models. Their internal and external parameters needs to be calibrated. Second, phase measurement stage. The projector projects the designed sinusoidal fringe patterns onto the object's surface, and the camera captures the deformed patterns. The phase which carries the 3D shape information is extracted. Third, correspondence stage. If a camera pixel coordinate and a projector pixel coordinate correspond to the object point in the world coordinate, they will have the same phase value. By finding the same phase value, the camera pixel coordinate and the projector pixel coordinate can be paired or corresponded. Lastly, reconstruction stage. It uses results from the other three stages to obtain the 3D object points. Next, I will talk about the two proposed methods for this project. First, in the calibration stage, a calibration board was used. We need to obtain precise coordinates of the center of each circle. A more accurate method was proposed by integrating a subpixel edge location on partial area effect algorithm. The algorithm is able to find the circumference coordinates of each circle, and using the general equation of the conic section, center of each circle can be obtained. Next, in the phase measurement stage, a more concise and efficient method was proposed by gaining insights from a tripartite phase unwrapping method or tri-PU method, as this method removes jump error. It makes use of three wrapped phases, with a phase difference of 2 pi over 3 as shown in figure A, B and C. Within each phase order, K, represented by the red dashed line, it is further divided into three parts, KL, lower part of K, KM, middle part of K, and KH, higher part of K, since the jump error only occurs at the boundary of adjacent phases, as shown by the gray part in figure B. By mapping the further divided K parts to the middle part of the three wrapped phases and combining them together, jump error can be eliminated. As only the unaffected part of the wrapped phases are used as shown by figure D, the final unwrapped phases can then be obtained as shown in figure E. However, this method only works well when the mismatch between the wrapped phase and the phase order is no more than a third fringe period, as the phase order K is divided into three parts and used to map to the three wrapped phases. The new phase unwrapping method proposed uses two wrapped phases with a phase difference of pi instead of three wrapped phases, hence the name dipartite phase unwrapping or di PU method. It improves the limitation of one thread fringe period to half fringe period. The phase order K is now divided into two regions KM, middle part of K, and KR, remaining part of K. Lastly, correspondence and reconstruction is performed to obtain the point cloud data of the object. The result shows the calibration errors of the camera comparing with traditional method and the proposed method. The overall mean reprojection errors of the traditional method is 0.06 pixels and the overall mean reprojection errors of the proposed method is 0.04 pixels, an improvement of 33%. The code execution performance of the tri-PU and the di-PU method is shown in the graph.
The mean performance for tri-PU method and di-PU method is 123 milliseconds and 91 milliseconds respectively, an improvement of 26%. This result generated by CPU image processing. The project achieved to obtain high-quality 3D point cloud data from the proposed method. The accuracy of the calibration stage was improved by 33%. The efficiency of the phase measurement stage was improved by 26% and it is more concise than other methods, also achieving in one-sixth improve on the phase period used. Lastly, the results from this project shows the potential of the proposed methods in achieving better real-time 3D data acquisition, and it has the potential for many fields to perform tasks that they were once unable to do. Thank you.